Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We are to find the area of the blue semicircle. And this blue semicircle is inscribed is in a larger semicircle with the vert uh, points on this blue semicircle intersecting the diameter of this larger semicircle as shown. And we are to find the area of the blue semicircle. Okay, so for my solution, or we should make this, we should draw a line from this center of the larger semicircle to the point of intersection of this blue semicircle and the larger semicircle and we also connect this center of this blue semicircle to the center of this larger semicircle and next is we draw a horizontal line that should I, I mean a vertical line from this center of the blue semicircle and that should be perpendicular to this diameter of the larger semicircle and next is we draw another radius that will be from the center of the blue semicircle and this to this point this is also a radius okay so next is we compute the radius of this larger semicircle and that would be equal to r of the larger let's call this as rl is equal to 5 plus 4 plus 2 all over 2 and that would be rl is equal to 11 over 2 okay so next is we label this length as 11 over 2 since it is the computed radius of this larger semicircle and next is we label the radius of this smaller semicircle as r rs and this other let us let us label this as m okay so next thing is we need to notice that this line m is actually a perpendicular bisector of this chord this chord which is the diameter of the blue semicircle and since it is a perpendicular bisector because it goes through here to the center of this larger semicircle and since it is a perpendicular bisector then we form actually a right triangle and next is we label this length as the radius of the smaller semicircle the blue one so rs and we have we can use pythagorean theorem and we have the hypotenuse to be 11 over 2 and 11 over 2 squared is equal to rs square plus m square so we have 121 over 4 is equal to rs square plus m square okay so next thing is we need to focus on these two small right triangles this one and this other smaller right triangle okay and we actually see that 
one of their legs lie in a common length which is this one okay and since it is equal or common to both of the triangles then we can make an equation about these triangles but before that since we know that this distance is actually 4 and if that is 4 and since this is 5 this is actually 5 and the, the radius of this larger semicircle is actually 11 over 2 so to get this distance we need to subtract that 11 over 2 minus 5 or 11 minus 2 minus 10 over 2 and that is equal to 1 half so this distance becomes 1 half and that this distance is actually 3.5 or 7 over 2 so this whole distance is 7 over 2 because the whole is 4 so 4 minus 1 half is 7 over 2 okay so next is we need to get this distance this distance is actually half of the distance which is 4 because 4 is actually a chord of this blue semicircle and if that is 4 then since this is a perpendicular bisector this line that divides the two smaller right triangles that we are focusing on then this should be 2 and if this is 2 then this distance should be 3.5 or 7 over 2 minus 2 that would be 7 over 2 minus 2 and that is equal to 7 over 2 7 minus 4 and that is equal to 3 over 2 so this distance is actually 3 over 2 okay so next is we are going to make an equation about these two right triangles then we have for this side let us call that as x so x is equal to x so for the x on the left hand side triangle we have m square minus 3 over 2 square is equal to for the right hand side we have r sub s square minus 2 square and therefore we have m square minus 9 all over 4 is equal to r sub s square minus 4 then from this we can get the value of r sub s minus m square so if we put this m square on the right to the right hand side then we have r s square minus m square is equal to negative 9 all over 4 plus 4 then if we simplify the left hand side we have 4 then we have negative 9 then 4 times 4 is equal to 16 plus 16 so we have r sub s square minus m square so therefore we have 16 minus 9 is equal to 7 over 4 is equal to r sub s square minus m square okay so next thing is we need to make use of the two equations that we got earlier so we just need to add these two equations and we see that this m square 
and negative m square cancels out then we have 2 r s square is equal to 121 plus 7 is actually equal to 128 all over 4 then if you simplify this we have 32 and if you simplify further we have 32 r s square is equal to 32 over 2 then we cancel this but divide this by 2 so we have 16 so r s square is equal to 16 okay so now that the, we found the value of r s square or the radius of the smaller semicircle or the blue semicircle then it is just simply equal to the area is equal to one half because it is a semicircle times pi times r s square and area is equal to one half times pi times the value of r s square is equal to 16 so we need to answer this out this becomes 8 so we have area is equal to 8 pi square units and that is our answer now thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye